cataractcoach.com. Are you struggling to master fake chop? I will teach you this skill in slow motion. Here it is. Now notice the phaco probe's already buzzed in all the way to the silicone sleeve. The chopper tip's fully embedded. Instruments come together and then are pushed apart. And now let's really push the two halves apart to propagate that chop so we have a complete split into two hemi-nuclear halves. So we take our time to really propagate that crack. Now buzz into the first hemi-nucleus, bring it up. Notice we buzz in the corner, not the middle. I want to bring up one corner of it. Now the chopper goes around, and we simply bring it towards the phaco tip and pull the pieces apart. Now we have a small fragment. We'll take out this small fragment with the phaco probe. We're operating about the iris plane. We just give a little bit of phaco energy. The chopper just pushes the piece in front of the phaco probe. Notice that pushing action. Pushes the piece in front of the phaco probe. And so we take our time, swirling motion back and forth, only applying a very little energy. Now it's buzz in again to the remainder of that first hemi-nuclear half. So we can buzz in again, bring it up, and then I can either chop it again or simply emulsify it if the piece is small enough. Notice the chopper keeps pushing the piece in front. You want the nuclear piece to be in front of the phaco tip, not under it. Now we're done with the first half. Here comes the second half. Buzz into it. Bring it up. Chopper goes around the lens equator. Bring the instruments together and then apart. And we've broken off another piece. Now, a little bit of energy. Very modest energy here. Give a little modest energy. Use the chopper to push the piece and keep it in front of the phaco probe. Once that piece is removed, now we can go to the next little fragments. Buzz in again. Bring it up. You can sub-chop or just simply keep the piece in front of the phaco probe. Notice how the chopper now is just pushing the piece and keeping it right at the tip. Going around, removing it. And again, we're using a very minimal amount of phaco energy. This patient will have a 100% clear cornea the next day after surgery. And this surgery it becomes very efficient. This total nucleus removal in this case only takes about one minute. So we'll take out the rest of it here, a couple little fragments that are left, a little bit of an epinuclear shell. The epinuclear shell, we're just simply going to vacuum, very minimal, if any energy at all. We don't use a separate epinuclear uh, setting here. We can just use our same settings, vacuum only, grab the piece, pull it centrally, and grabbing it, pulling it centrally. And we'll bring that towards us, looks good. And then here we go. Here's the remainder of that epinuclear shell. Pull that up, and we're just about done. So that's shown in about one-third speed, 0.3x. I think you really understood that. But to really hammer home the point, I think it's helpful to see that same video clip again, but now in real time. And then you can see how things really happen. So let's watch it one more time. This is real time now. Buzzing with both instruments, chop, propagate it, Separate the pieces, really get a good separation. Once I'm sure of it, buzz the phaco probe in, bring out one corner of the epinucleus, or the nucleus, uh, the nucleus, chop it. Buzz that little quadrant down. There it is. Chopper is being used to push the piece in front of the tip. Buzz into the remainder of the first half, bring it up. No further sub-chopping required. Simply push the piece in front of the probe. Buzz into the second half, bring it up. Chop. There we go, remove that first quadrant, and then get the remainder of the second half. Just like that, we're almost done. Nucleus is removed in well under a minute. And even with removal of the epinuclear shell, we're still just about one minute of surgical time. That's a very minimally invasive surgery, and patients are gonna have a beautiful outcome with that. Taking down the epinuclear shell, and next time you have a chop case, I want you to keep these pointers in mind. I have confidence in you. You can definitely do it, and you'll be glad you did. Please go to cataractcoach.com. It's much better than YouTube. Cataractcoach.com, we can send you a free email every day with a brand new video. And also, you can search for things. You can get all the Cataract Coach videos searchable. You want to learn Faco Chop? Type in Faco Chop, and there'll be dozens of videos to learn from. Thanks for watching.